built in 1922, we're in Columbus, Ohio, at the Horseshoe, to see what should be a great football game. Stout is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. Tackle at the 24-yard line. The Buckeyes and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From their own 36-yard line. First down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. He's really quick with his lateral movement especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. He's on the run. Nice run there as they work the outside. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 39-yard line. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. could be a great weapon for the offense to slow down a pass rush. And it did precisely that on this play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. second level of that defense from the 18 yard line it's first down tackle at about the 21 loss of three yards on the play that brings up second this is the ninth play of this drive he's scrambling and they make the stop at the 18 yard line Another third down here. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's tackled around the 13-yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Ohio State is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Lee fields it at the three. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Slings it, and he hits him hard at the 25-yard line. Now he tries to buy 
buy some time. He's taken down at the 35. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Good outside run there. That makes it second and six. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Mitchell rings him down at the 49-yard line. First down. the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's a good season. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. And he tackles him hard at the 37. That's a game of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Mike 35, Mike 35. Check three, check three. He gets rid of this one. the 37-yard line. It's second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Throws complete. He's hammered. They come out in an empty backfield. He's at the 20. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. Mitchell on the tackle at the 18 yard line. First down. The 10. Quick pass. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. He hits the PAT. An 11 play, 78 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 7 3. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 33. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. We've got a first and 10. Ball in their own 47. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He's at the 40. Right down. Right around the 36-yard line. Oh, he had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-3. Penn State. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. And he is drilled at the 22-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Tackled at the four yard line.
go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 67-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. They line up to kick this one away. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. But this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes at the 28. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Check three, check three. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and two. Listen to this place. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Wilson is back deep to return. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Ohio State is up a field goal. They'll give it off here. Nice run to the outside. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. Nice run up the middle. Five yards there for the quarterback. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Roger, Roger! Mike 13, Mike 13. Go, Charles! Gets to about the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line. First down. Gives it to the back. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 46-yard line. Hands on to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. That is a loss of two yards. Third down. Third down again. Brought down in the open field. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 41. Ohio State is up by three. Zips it to the back, and they push him out to 37-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. That'll make it 35. Passes in, and it's picked out of the sky. like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. From their own 23-yard line, first down, empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. And a quick throw, and he's level at the 31. Penn State's going to take their first time out of the hat.
That's a great tackle at the 36. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Quick throw. He's hit and taken down. They lose four there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Five wide. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. Banks on the tackle at the 43-yard line. That'll bring up 34. Caught with room to work. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. The Nittany Lions use their second timeout. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Throws it in a hurry. Touchdown, Penn State! This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying the offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. Penn State is lining up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. Brought down at the 33-yard line. The Buckeyes have got to find a way down and get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. You can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet. I agree with you 100%. I mean, this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop at midfield. The Buckeyes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 50, it's first down. Zips it to the tailback, incomplete. He's at the 40. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. to try and scramble and they got it Ohio State's out of timeouts so with a half ending they're just going to try to put three points up on the board it's up and this is no good he didn't have the leg for it and watch out because they can return this he's taken down at the 23 A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 14-10, Nittany Lions. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to... And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. to return. Lee from the six. He's out to the 30. 
And he's tackled at the 48. They're set to go for another round. They come out in a five-wide set. Tackled after a decent pickup. Penn State holds a four-point lead. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. And the safety with the interception. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. For the 20. The 10. He scores. What a play. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From the five-yard line. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. Taken down at about the 37 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Pitch, look out, loose ball, recovered by the offense. Second and 15, ball on their own 38. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. He's pushed out of bounds around the 48-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Nice run there. First down. He goes out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. He's looking down the middle. Incomplete pass. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Yard line. That's a game of 16 in the play. Man left, man left. That makes it first and 10. Mike 35, Mike 35. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. From the 14 yard line, it's second down. The Nittany Lions lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. Tackle made at about the 11. The 
delivers to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 12 yard line. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Penn State is looking to tie things up. He gets it up and it splits the uprights. Stout is lined up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's taken down at the 26 yard line. Personal foul. Basement. Defense. Still first down. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. He might have a chance. And down he goes, around the 50-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 48. Quick strike to the receiver, and he is drilled at the 50. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Screen. They'll bring him down at the 45 yard line. That's a gain of five on the play. Fourth down. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Fires it out, and he hits him hard at the 28. Banks brings him down at the 28-yard line. That makes it second and two. Around the 35 yard line. First down. Get out, get out, get out. Ready? Check three, check three, check three. And they make the stop at the 49. Sean makes the tackle at the 49 yard line. That makes it first and 10. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, good game here, 17-17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. Slings it quickly to his halfback again. We know their defensive coordinator is an excitable guy, and he couldn't be any more excited than he is right now. Huge, huge stop here in a tie game in the fourth quarter. Trying to change the field position with his kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. They'll 
get him for a loss. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 16. Caught open field. He's tackled at about the 19 yard line. That's good for a of three yards. That makes it third and 11. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike 13, Mike 13. He flings it. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. That brings up fourth and 11. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Run up the middle. With the tackle. Call it again at five yards. Get out, get out. That brings up second and five. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He tackles him for a loss. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. Get down, get down. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Just under three to go in regulation. Good outside run there. Around five yards there on the option keep. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. He's under some heat. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. The Nittany Lions will use their first time out of the half. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Dotson fields it at the 34, tackle at the 46-yard line, and he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Makes his way to about the 38. Game of 16 on the play. First down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. Number 13, the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Five wide. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they push him out right around the 28-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. Strike to his receiver, no good. 
They're going to try a long field goal here. Kicks away, and it's wide left. No good. It's a big sigh of relief on one sideline, but it won't last long. It's the offense's turn to get down the field in a hurry to give them a chance to win. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Completely stopped immediately. That makes it 33. They'll spread the field with five wide. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. three-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game, and if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through four quarters. Going long. Incomplete. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. Put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. First down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He gets rid of this one. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. They come out in a five-wide set. There's a strike complete. He's down. Under a minute left in the game. point here we go they'll need lightning to strike on this return from his own goal line he's to the 20 and he's tackled at the 26 even in a game this close I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome but that doesn't mean it won't happen for all of you watching, it's been a great game, and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. That tackle just sealed the deal. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 24-17. 
Penn State. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Well, we got about what we thought we'd get. Two evenly matched teams fighting hard in a very close game. Penn State made the plays they had to to win this game. And that's what it often comes down to with two evenly matched teams. Whoever comes through in a clutch gets the W. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.